I'm Winston 1000 and I'm going to show you how to get a permanently open NAT type on PS3. All of the same thing would probably work for Xbox 360. My NAT type used to be moderate, but since I did this, it's been open ever since. Having an open NAT type is good because you can connect to almost everyone on Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, or any Call of Duty game, or any game for that matter. So, what you want to do, you want to go along into your settings on PS3, on network settings. Internet connection settings. Click OK. You want to click custom. Choose your connection method. Mine is wired. Um, if it's wired, just click auto detect. This is the important part. You want to go into the IP address setting and go into manual. Now, there's a lot of numbers here, but you just need to take note of the top one. That's the IP address. So you want to put 192.168.0 and then dot any number you can think of between um, 2 and 255. Uh, I'll give mine 7 because it's, fa it's fairly unique. <coughs> um, and once you've done that, you can just press uh, right and keep going along. Generally, you can just leave these to the default. It automatically... Uh, puts it on and then X to save settings and that's it for the PS3 part so now that you're on your computer you need to go into your router settings now I'll get to that by opening up my internet browser which in this case is Firefox and typing in 192.168.0.1 it asks for this, it comes up with a screen and asks for a username and password. Um, for mine, it's uh, there's a little sticker on the router saying username and password. You might have changed the username and password yourself, or it might be something like admin and the password might be password or default or something like that. Um, click OK, and then if you've got a Netgear router, it'll come up with something like this. If you're a different router, it'll come up with something similar. Um, and you want to go to firewall rules and for the outbound services you want to click add seeing as I've already got mine I'll click edit <laughs> so you want the service to be any and all action allow always one users single address and for the start you want to put in what you put in for your IP address for the PS3 which in my case was 192.168.0.7 you want to put one users any and log never. Click apply. <coughs> and then you want to add um, service for inbound. So I'll just click edit. Uh, service any and all. Action allow always. Send to LA and server. The same IP you put in for the PS3. 192.168.0.7. One users any. And that'll grey out the start and finish bits log never click apply and that's it thanks for watching guys don't forget to drop me a like goodbye